first thing I wanted to, you know, to talk about is diagnostic and monitoring. So for any of you who are already on 14.2 or, uh, you know, 14, 14.1, 14.2, this feature was added to your system when short to release that version. And it was designed to greatly enhance the end customer's ability to check the health of their short tail system. With the dashboard, which is what you have a screenshot of here, you can see a one hour, a 12 hour, a 24 hour, a seven day, or a 30 day snapshot of the health of your system. A lot of the things you can, you can do in this is to be able to look at your call volume stats. So you can see is what's the call volume we've received in these days. As part of the call volume, we're going to spend a little bit more detail, but we can look at the call quality stats. Are we receiving good or bad calls in our, in our system between sites, inside the same site? We can look at our, our, our MOS scores, you know, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that shortly. The other thing we can look at is bandwidth utilization. So if you have a multi-site system and you're wanting to know how much bandwidth are we using between our sites or can we control that bandwidth, we can set thresholds in the system and say, I only want to allow, you know, 1,500, you know, K of, of bandwidth site between sites. And this will tell us how we're doing on using that bandwidth with the, with the bandwidth utilization. So as you can see in here, you know, is if you have multiple sites, it'll just show you a, on a graph is how much bandwidth is each site using. And if you're getting up to the higher thresholds, maybe we need to up that or you need to, you know, consider what our MPLS connectivity is between sites. Uh, trunk group utilization, that's another um, topic I'm going to be talking about today that we get, we get a lot of, so I'll cover that in a little bit more detail here in, in a few minutes. Feature usage. Feature usage shows you, you know, how many times your short tail switches or your voicemail server or your conferencing, your SA100 appliance, how many times they're being used on a concurrent basis per day. So you can kind of see, do we have certain switches being utilized more than, you know, at certain locations than others? And then last on the, on the dashboard, you have your CPU usage. So if we're concerned about a switch being maxed out as far as number of hunt groups and, and phones being ran on it, we can pay attention to the CPU usage on those switches and on your servers themselves to make sure we have the appropriate hardware, you know, that we need, or maybe it's time we're looking at upgrading a server, we can pay attention to the CPU usage that server's maintaining. If you do a lot of overhead or group paging and overhead paging through your phones, that can really spike your CPU usage because that's all done on the server, you know, on the server side. Same thing with work groups, you know, those are all server related things that can affect the CPU on the, on the server. So the other nice things that diagnostic monitoring handle is remote packet capture. Sometimes we have, you know, we're having issues with one-way audio and using diagnostic and monitoring. We can do a packet capture from a phone or from a switch and have the network team now, you know, analyze that in Wireshark so we can say, oh, here's the problem is, you know, we have a default gateway issue or we have, you know, a, a network broadcast issue occurring at that location. So we need to, you know, we need to take a look at that. For any of you who've done an upgrade since going to 14.2, you know that this is where you reboot your, your short tail phones and push new firmware fo updates to your phones. You also use it to look at your switch stats. So if I want to see how many phones are assigned to different switches or what's the status of different phones on that switch or how many hunt groups does the switch run, I would run that all through diagnostic and monitoring. The other nice thing that they added to diagnostic monitoring is a, is a topology. So you click the topology. And it, what it does is it just re all the switches report back what their default gateway is, and it builds a nice little map out based on what switches are in the same networks. So it can build out a, a topology based on the WAN connection and all your different sites and stuff. So if you have a multi-site location, it's a nice little thing to look at to show you where everything, how everything's connected, and it gives you green, yellow, you know, red based on connectivity between sites. If you know if certain switches can't talk to the servers, you know, it'll change the colors on, the, on that and everything for you. So, by the way, this is access through Director. We're got, we have a few questions, Chris. People are asking where they they access this, and to be under the the Diagnostics and Monitoring section in, in Short Tail Director. Exactly. So on the left hand side of Short Tail Director, right underneath Quick Look, is a, an entry there for Diagnostic and Monitoring. It'll launch in its own window. This is the first phase of Shortel's redesigned um, Shortel Director. So this was phase one of the of the new director that's coming with the, you know with the next major release of Shortel. It'll be designed around this this similar thing. So it launches in its own window. It's not tied to IE. It does work in Firefox, Chrome, 
I have a test in Safari, but it's supposed to work in Safari also. 